Righto, they're coming out of turn four of dispatch in heat three. The national championship, Michael Hammond and Jamie Oldfield, the green lights come on. They're four wide already once the greens come on. There's big moves coming from Trent Bin Omar on one side of uh, the field as uh, Michael Hammond spins. He spins in front of everybody. They've all missed him. They've all missed him, luckily. And the caution lights are on. So Michael Hammond in the fastest EL Falcon in the uh, known universe has spun. And uh, the bonnet, or the, the, uh, the bumper, has come adrift. And he'll go to the Inquiry Bay straight up in heat three. So a complete uh, restart has been called for. Official placings on heat two. Car 27, Tim Tyso. 14, Ken McPherson. 9, Martin Kelly. Fourth is 4, Jeff Genev. Fifth was 76, Clint Unix. Sixth, 85, Warren Oldfield. Seventh was John Roycroft. Eighth was Jason Mulgrew. Ninth was Chelsea Dunn. One car did not start. It was Donald Irving in car number 23. The winning margin was 0 0.159 of a second in heat number two. The fastest speed was a 23.711, and that was set by Tim Tyso. Well, Jason, we're just applying a couple of zippy ties down here to the front of the Hammers car. Of course, went all by himself there. Got a little bit of contact with Mark Corker coming through, but um, all A-OK -okay with Mick Hammond's car. Just a few zippy ties to connect the front bumper back up. Thanks, Rick. The cars will now move away with Michael Hammond at the back of the bus. 91 Warwick Luria now moves up to the front row with Jamie Oldfield, Jason Oldfield, row two with Aaron Mulgrew, Damien Amato, row three with Trent Binoma, row four will be Mark Cooker, Paul Joss, and Michael Hammond off the back. Title, stand by for a restart. The green lights are on, away and racing. Jamie Oldfield gets a good start. So too does Jason Oldfield. Warwick Luya has gone from first to about eighth already. One car is off in a big way. 35 car of Mark Kulka nearly takes out one of the lighting towers about 30 metres off the uh, racetrack on the infield. But the race leader is Jamie Oldfield as they come out of turn four the first time. One car right round the outside of Jason Oldfield is 81. A Damien Amato, the all pink machine, goes into second place. Jason Oldfield back to third. Trent Binobar is fourth. Mark Kulka, meantime, never restarted. He's stuck down there in turn number three. Sorry, turn two. He's trying to get back on the track or get off one or the other. But uh, already Jamie Oldfield right out near the fence into the main straight is your race leader. Second spot is Amato. That's Damien. Back then to Jason Oldfield, third. Then Ben Omar, fourth. Michael Hammond, fifth. Mulgrew in sixth. Joss, seventh. And Warwick Luya, eighth. And Mark Kulka won't do the distance. Out of pits bend and down the back straight they go. The race leader coming back into the main straight. It's all Jamie Oldfield, the former national champion. He leads out in front in the 86 Ultra Tuna Morley car. This third heat brought to you by Commercial Locksmiths. The Department of Sport and Rec bought us heat two and Ultra Tuna Morley bought us the opening heat. Michael Hammond into fourth place now around the outside of Trent Binoma. Down the back straight they go. Our race leader though into the main straight is Jamie Oldfield working overtime behind the steering wheel as they complete four laps now and have eight laps to go. Damien Amato second. The third race in a row going clockwise. We haven't had a normal direction race yet in the national title. Third spot, Jason Oldfield under pressure now for Michael Hammond. Back in fifth spot is Trent Binoma. Sixth place is still Mulgrew, then back to uh, Joss in seventh. And Warwick Luya rounds out the field. The race leader's back with us, seven laps to go. Jamie Oldfield ahead of Damien Amato. 
And Jason Oldfield third. Michael Hammond, another former national champion in fourth place. Back to Trent Binobar in fifth. No change in the race order. Though the bumper's starting to come off the back end of the 84 car of Jason Oldfield. As they move back into the main straight, it's Jamie Oldfield at the halfway mark. Inquiry flag coming out this time around. Damien Amato's clear in second spot. Third place is that of Jason Oldfield. Back in fourth is Michael Hammond. The inquiry flag went to Trent Binomar of Broome. Sixth place is still uh, Aaron Mulgrew. Seventh is Paul Joss. Passing flag coming out on Warwick Luya, who's now uh, looming large in the sights of Jamie Oldfield, who is a homeward bound. Still has five laps to go, but he's a runaway rocking horse out in front. Damien Amato still in second spot. Jason Oldfield with the back hanging off the, the 84 car in third. Fourth place is the 57 of Michael Hammond. Now the bodywork may be rubbing on the 84 car of Oldfield. Bit of smoke starting to develop. Back into the main straight, Jason, Jamie Oldfield is well clear. Underneath the Warwick Lure he goes with four to run. Second place is uh, Damien Amato. Third spot is Jason Oldfield from Michael Hammond. Bin Omar fifth. Country kilometre back to the rest of them, headed up by uh, Aaron Mulgrew and Paul Joss. The race leader comes up this time with three laps to go. Jamie Oldfield still well in front. The Ultra Tuna Morley car and Nationwide sign sponsored 86, a long way ahead of Damien Amato. Third place is still Jason Oldfield, who has his hands full with Michael Hammond. Now, they're going to come up on Warwick Luya in a moment. In fact, Michael Hammond goes underneath of Jason Oldfield. Jason Oldfield fights back. The race is for the minor placings. Back to Bin Omar. Two to go. Jamie Oldfield a mile in front, though. Damien Amato second. Warwick Luria the lap down. Jason Oldfield in third. Hammer, Michael Hammond in fourth. And Bin Omar there in fifth. As Warwick Luria gets out of the way, Michael Hammond was going to go the outside. Lost ground. And uh, Jason Oldfield now clear in third. Bin Omar back in fifth. They're half a lap behind the race leader, though, in Jamie Oldfield. Into the main straight now comes the 81 of Damien Amato, Jason Oldfield third, then Michael Hammond, and then Trent Binoma. But he has absolutely thrashed them. Come on, race fans, out of turn four. Put your hands together. Jamie Oldfield, first across the line, wins by a long, long way. He's home. Jamie Oldfield first. A little bit of smoke coming out the back end, but doesn't appear to be too dramatic. Second spot is Damien Amato. Third spot is Jason Oldfield. Fourth is Michael Hammond. Back then to Trent Pinoma, who could not get past Warwick Lee of the lap car. Paul Joss is sixth. Seventh place is going to go the way of uh, Aaron Mulgrew. There's a car somewhere that I've missed. Oh, that is Warwick Luya. He'll be eighth. One car did not finish, which was uh, Mark Kulka, who gets going now, but it's all too late. And shortly, Jamie Oldfield will talk to Rick downstairs. Now, the car is still smoking, so Rick, you might be able to talk to uh, Jamie about the 86 car. In fact, he's not going to talk to you at all. Okay, Jason.